Hey uh, folks, uh, Mr. MathBlog here, and I hope you guys are doing well. In this lesson, we're going to multiply fractions again with whole numbers, and we're going to use models, and then we're going to try and uh, find a pattern with this, you guys. So let's go ahead and get started here. So our, our, our common core strand is here, and our essential question is how can we use a model to demonstrate multiplying a fraction by a whole number? And then we're going to find patterns also, you guys. I, sh I probably should have put something in there also. How can we use patterns? Uh, because we're going to do that in this lesson as well. Okay, so here's our prior knowledge here. So using models, find the next four multiples of each fraction. So I'm going to use fraction strips on both of these. So, so for the two-thirds, I'm going to do um, uh, fraction strip into thirds and shade two of them. So there's one times two-thirds. That's what this one is right here. Okay, so there's two out of the three shaded right here. So that's what this one is. So here's uh, two of the two-thirds. So two of two-thirds gives me one, two, three, four of them shaded. So there's four third size pieces shaded, so that would be four-thirds right there. Okay, let's do another uh, fraction strip of two-thirds. Here we have three two-thirds uh, strips shaded. So out of that we get one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six thirds shaded. So here's one-third plus one-third plus one-third plus one-third plus one-third plus one-third, so six-thirds. So there's my next multiple there. Okay, are you guys seeing a pattern yet? If not, that's okay. We'll, we'll discuss it later. All right, so here's uh, four two-thirds strips uh, shaded. So that's going to get me eight of these guys shaded. So there's eight-thirds shaded. So that's the next uh, multiple of two-thirds, okay? And let's do one more, you guys. So here is uh, five two-thirds uh, strips shaded. And that's going to get me uh, two more shaded strips right there. So that's ten third size strips. Okay, all right, let's do this. I'm going to do a fraction strip with three-fourths, so I'm going to shade three of the four. So there's there's a, a one fraction strip, which this should say one times two-thirds right there. It's my, as my students say, my bad. I don't know where that came from, you guys. But anyway, so it's uh, there's one fraction strip of three-fourths right there, so that's my first uh, multiple of three-fourths. Okay, so here's two. Did I do that one? I did. Okay. I was just thinking ahead, I suppose. So here's uh, two three-four st uh, strips shaded. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six fourth size strips shaded. Boy, that's a tongue twister. Say that several times fast. All right, so that's six-fourths right there. Okay, let's do uh, another three-fourths strip shaded right here. So there's three of them. So that's going to shade nine of them. So there's nine fourth size strips being shaded. Boy, i got to talk slow when I say all of that. There's another one. So four of them is going to get me 12 of them shaded. So 12 fourth size strips shaded. And then finally, there's five fourth size strips shaded and three fourths of them being shaded. So five times three fourths ends up being 15 fourths. And if I counted, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 out of the fourth size strips are being shaded. So here's the multiples of 3 fourths, 6 fourths, 9 fourths, 12 fourths, and 15 fourths. Look, the denominators are staying the same. The numerators were just adding plus 3, plus 3, plus 3, plus 3. Over here, the denominator stayed the same. We just added plus 2, plus 2, plus 2, plus 2, okay? We'll talk more about that pattern in just a minute here. All right, so let's try a problem here. So Tiffany practices her drums for 3 fourths hour each day. She has a concert in three days. How much time will she practice in three days? Okay, so how many equal groups of three-fourths should we model? We're going to use models here. So since she does three-fourths hour each day and she's going to do this in three days, she has a concert in three days, so we're going to model three of the three-fourths uh, uh, strips right there, okay? And then so... Uh, we're going to use our model to multiply 3 times 3 fourths. All right, I've been using fraction, fraction strips. I'm going to use a pi, the pi fraction. I don't know what you guys call this right here. So here's a circle right here, and I, and I divided it up into 4 right here, and I shaded 3 of them. So this will represent the one day. This is one group of 3 fourths right here. So remember, each day she does 3 fourths of an hour, and she's going to do it for 3 days. So let's do another one. So here's a second day. So here's two groups of three-fourths, or two days of uh, three-fourths hour each day. So if you notice, they're in fourths, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's why there's six-fourths being shaded. 
All right, and then so three days is going to be three groups of three fourths. So now I have nine of them shaded, nine of the fourth size shaded, so there's nine fourths out of three days. So three times three fourths just equals nine fourths, okay? And if you've seen a pattern, good, good for you. So Tiffany will practice for, how much is she going to practice for? She's going to practice for nine fourths hours in all. Okay, how many hours is that in between, you guys? Remember remember how we did that? We did divided, uh, how many groups of four can go into nine? Two. Four goes into nine two times with one left over, so it's a little bit over two hours uh, total. Anyways, nine fourths hours. We'll write it like that for right now, okay? All right, so if you multiply four times two six, is the product greater than or less than four? Well, that's a good question, you guys. Well, think of this, you guys. Two six is a number that's less than one. So, so you know that four groups of two six is going to be less than four groups of one because four groups of one is going to be four. So, um, uh, four groups of two six is going to be less than four because two six is less than one and four groups of one equals four. So, four groups of two six will be less than that. How much less than? We'll talk about that later, you guys. I just want to know uh, it's less than. Also, you guys. 4 times 2, 6 equals 8, 6. And 8, 6, remember what we just talked about, 6 goes into 8 1 time, and there would be 2 left over, so it equals 1 and 2, 6. And 1 and 2, 6 is less than 4. Okay? All right, so explain how you can use repeated addition with the model to find the product of 3 times 3 fourths. Okay, remember that problem we just did with Tiffany and her drums playing? I used to play the drums, by the way, for a long time. That was fun. So just like in our example with Tiffany, there were three circles. Each of them had three-fourths of the circle shaded. So we could use uh, three-fourths as the add end three times. So we just added those three-fourths uh, of each circle with Tiffany. Three-fourths plus three-fourths plus three-fourths equaled uh, nine-fourths. Okay, so that's what this represents. This says three groups of three-fourths. So I just add, that just means three-fourths plus three-fourths plus three-fourths. Okay, all right, so Tiffany's daily practice of three-fourths hour is in sessions that last for one-fourth of an hour each. Okay, what that means, you guys, is for the three-fourths hour she practices, she doesn't do it all in one spot. She does it one-fourth, one-fourth, one-fourth each day. Okay, do you guys know how many minutes a fourth of an hour is? You can talk about that with your teacher. But anyways, so, um, so describe how the model shows the number of practice sessions Tiss Tiffany has in each day. Remember, she doesn't do it three-fourths of an hour all at once. Each day, she divides her three-fourths of an hour up into a fourth of an hour each. Okay, so each day for three days, she does three-fourths of an hour, but they're divided up into a fourth of an hour each. Okay, so here's one day, you guys, okay? One day she does three-fourths of an hour, but she divides it up into one-fourth, one-fourth, and one-fourth. So there's three times she practices in one day because here's three-fourths of an hour. Does that make sense, you guys? There's three one-fourth pieces in the first day. So let's do that for the second day. That's going to give her six times she's practiced. Uh, so she practiced three-fourths of an hour, but in one-fourth session. So one-fourth, one-fourth, one-fourth. One fourth, one fourth, one fourth. So there's six fourth size pieces, okay? Then on the final day, that's going to give her nine fourth size times that she's practiced, or sessions we called it. So nine fourth size sessions. So Tiffany will have nine practice sessions because there are nine fourth size pieces shaded, okay? So we're just trying to trick you here, you guys. So don't don't let them get too too uh, tricky on you or confuse you too much, you guys. I hope that helped. <laughs> Okay, so here's another example. So use a pattern to multiply fractions. Okay, so here's where the patterns come in. I think this is pretty cool. So far we've used uh, models to represent repeated addition to multiply a fraction by whole numbers. So we like the, the pizza thing or the, the pie thing we did with Tiffany's practice. We used the model right there. In this example, we're going to look for patterns to discover another way. So I'm going to use fraction strips. Okay, now don't let this confuse you. I'm going to shrink that up so because I'm going to fill up this whole page with a table right here, okay? So my kids, when they see that, they go, ah! So let's just talk about this for a second over here. Okay, so here I have I have two one-fifth size fraction strips being shaded. Here I have two two-fifth size fraction strips being shaded. Here I have two three-fifth size fraction strips being shaded. Do you see how there's this cut up in five and three of them are being shaded? And here's another three of them being shaded. So there's 
two of them, two of the three fists being shaded. Here, there's two fraction strips, but only two fists being shaded. Here, there's two fraction strips with just one fraction strip being shaded. So, uh, so that's what uh, this is two times a fifth. This is two times the two fists being shaded, and this one's two times the three fists. So, what whole number is being used right here? The whole number being used is these twos right here, or are these twos? Sorry, bad English. Okay, so, so the whole numbers are all those twos right there, okay? So what fraction size, what's the size of each group? Here, the size of these groups is one-fifth. The size of the, these two fraction strips is two-fifths. The size of these two fraction strips are three-fifths right here. So that's what goes right here. So it's one-fifth of a whole, two-fifths of a whole, and three-fifths of a whole. Okay, and then their product is, you guys, okay, here's the product. Okay, these are in fifth size pieces. So one plus one is two. So I have two fifths that's going to be the product here right here I have one two three four so I have four fifths that's what's going to go over here right here I have one two three four five six so I have six fifth size pieces right there so that's what's going right there all right now I'm going to shrink that up there it is right there okay that's just what I did I just shrunk it up okay so then I noticed uh, it said something like this so when you multiply a fraction by a whole number the numerator in the product, which is the answer, this is the product right here. So the numerator, which is this 2, which is this 4, which is this 6 right here. The numerator is the product of, okay, did you see this, you guys? Look, this times this is this. This number, which is 2, if you can see it, times this red 2 is this 4. Notice the denominator stayed the same. This 3 times this 2 gave me this 6. Notice the denominator stayed the same. So when you multiply a fraction by a whole number, the numerator in the product, this numerator, this 2, this 4, this 6, that's what it's talking about, is the product of this whole number over here, which is 2, and the numerator of the fraction. So 2 times 3 equals 6. Okay, so this whole number times this numerator gave me this answer right here okay and the denominator in the product okay so in, which is the answer over here the denominator in the product is the same as the denominator of the fraction that we started with okay so this is going to be whole number this is going to be numerator and this is going to be the denominator of the fraction right there okay all right that's what that's trying to say right there so what they wanted you to recognize when you're multiplying fractions I just multiply the whole number times the numerator and keep the denominator the same okay two times three equals six and since we're talking about fifths it's six fifths okay so let's summarize how can you multiply a fraction by a whole number without using a model of repeated addition okay we just talked about it we multiply the whole number uh, by the numerator only and keep the denominator the same okay pretty slick so describe two different ways you can find the product of two times three fourths okay well now let's do it the quick way you guys two times three is six so this is actually six fourths that's the way we just summarize that well let's do old school here's one way show two um, uh, four size fraction strips and shade three parts in each so here's four size fraction strips right here and we shaded three parts in each right here because we're doing two of the three fourths. Remember, of means multiply. Two times three fourths, or two of the three fourths, is going to get me one, two, three, four, five, six, is going to get me six fourths. So you count the total number of shaded parts and write that sum over four, okay, over the denominator. The other way is what we just talked about, you guys. You multiply the whole number times the numerator, so multiply the two times the three and write that product over the denominator, the same denominator four. Two times three is six all over four. Two times three is six, all over four, the same denominator. All right, I hope that helps you guys. And again, if you're watching this stuff at home and you have a YouTube account, just hit like and, and subscribe. That would be cool. All right, take care, everybody. I hope that helps.